Well, hello, true Mexico friends. This is Paul, an English guy, showing you Mexico through my eyes. And today, I'm going to talk about things in Mexico that are surprisingly expensive. And when I say a surprise, I mean a surprise for foreigners coming to Mexico from countries such as the United States. You might be thinking everything will be cheaper in Mexico. So, the first thing that is surprisingly expensive in Mexico are consumer electronics goods such as smartphones. And honestly, one of my biggest frustrations in Mexico has come at times when I've wanted to make a big electronics purchase. The fact is, most electronics products are more expensive in Mexico than in countries such as the US and the UK where I'm from. And for Mexicans, you can just imagine how annoying this is. Average salaries are quite a bit lower in Mexico, but you pay a lot more for identical products. Now, I'm not going to go into all the detail about why they are more expensive, but a combination of logistics, exchange rates, import taxes, sales volume and demand all affect the price. And let's do a quick comparison test. Let's say you wanted to improve the experience of your YouTube binging sessions and you decide to purchase the latest Apple iPad with an edge-to-edge -edge liquid retina display. Well, as of right now, if you are in the US, you are going to pay $949.99 for a version of the latest iPad from Best Buy. However, if you are in Mexico and you go to the Mexican Best Buy, the identical iPad with all the same specifications is going to cost you about $1,109 as of the exchange rate today. So yeah, if you can help it, don't buy your electronic goods in Mexico. Dr. Simi everyone, and I've been watching him for a while, no movement, nothing. And the next thing that is surprisingly expensive here in Mexico is the cost of buying imported international fashion brands such as Under Armour or even fancier brands like Prada which is being sold at the massive luxury department store behind me here in the Polanco area of Mexico City. In fact, international clothing brands are generally more expensive in Mexico than in many countries such as the US. And like I said before, factors such as import costs, exchange rates, logistics, all affect the price. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you heard of McAllen in Texas? And I think many of you know where I'm going with this, but if you don't, let me explain. McAllen in Texas isn't famous for natural beauty, ancient culture, or anything like that, but it is a hot tourist destination for Mexicans visiting the United States. And why? Outlet malls. Because of the higher prices in Mexico, there is a large tourism market targeting middle to upper class Mexicans to book shopping vacations to Texas. So yeah, if you are into brand clothing and you want a good deal like you see in the US, but you don't want to buy the dodgy stuff, which let's be honest is ubiquitous here, don't expect to have too much choice in Mexico. What a legend. Respect, my friend. Respect. And the next thing that I think is surprisingly expensive in Mexico is gym membership at the fancy gyms with loads of facilities like the one behind me right now. Now, if you want a place just to work out and get those guns pumped, no problem. In Mexico, there are also lots of smaller gyms at low prices. And you know, when it comes to gyms, I'm more like one of those mountain monkeys in Japan chilling out in the hot water. For me, a gym must have facilities such as a jacuzzi, sauna, steam room, perhaps even a swimming pool. And it's reasonable to assume that gyms like this 
should cost a good amount less in Mexico than in places like the US and the UK. After all, the real estate and construction costs are less, the wages they pay their staff are less, it definitely costs them less to operate. So it should cost a decent amount less, but it doesn't. For example, Energy Fitness charges between 1,200 to 1,500 pesos per month according to a Mexican business news site. And that's pretty much what I was paying for the same kind of gym in the UK. And considering average wages are quite a lot higher in the UK, that makes these gyms surprisingly expensive in Mexico. And the next thing that is surprisingly expensive in Mexico are these bell peppers or pimientos as they say here. Now, before I came to Mexico, I had an incorrect image of Mexican food. I imagined dishes like fajitas with lots of colorful bell peppers on top. And before I was known as Tio Paul, bell peppers were for me, in my mind, a very typical ingredient in Mexican dishes alongside things like chilies and limes. And then I came to Mexico and I thought, yeah, limes are really cheap, makes sense. Chilies, chili poblano, one of the most common ones, really cheap, makes sense. Bell peppers, wow, way more expensive. What's going on there? And these two peppers cost me a total of 42 pesos. Now, that might not sound that much to some of you watching, but I promise you for Mexican prices, that's expensive. Take a look at my cheap food versus expensive. I can do a lot with 42 pesos. And of course, what's happened here, which was once a surprise for me, is that fajitas with colorful bell peppers is more of a Tex-Mex thing rather than a true Mexico dish. And in most parts of Mexico, you don't actually see many bell peppers in Mexican dishes. And the next thing that is surprisingly expensive in Mexico is all about filling up a car with gas. And I'm standing in what I call Pemex land. If you don't know, Pemex is a huge Mexican state-owned oil company. And around me here, it's Pemex everything. Shuttle buses for employees like the one behind me here, the huge skyscraper overlooking more Pemex buildings, and you may be excused in thinking gasoline should be cheap in Mexico. Mexico is one of the countries in the world with huge proven oil reserves. Most lists put it in the top 20. And this should result in a relatively cheap price of gasoline for Mexicans. However, the reality is, and have a look at this recent chart from Bloomberg, Mexicans pay more to fill up their car than people in the US. And considering the average Mexican salary is quite a bit lower than the US one, it's no surprise that Mexicans have been really frustrated, even outraged. In 2017, as many of you know, there were huge protests all over Mexico because of gasoline price rises. Thousands of protesters marched, blocked highways and shut down gas stations. It was a crazy time. Now I don't want to go into all the political and economic reasons why Mexicans pay more for gasoline than they should do. It's a really complicated and volatile topic. But taking into account that Mexico is a country with a huge supply of proven oil reserves, it is surprising that gasoline is relatively expensive here and costs more than in the United States. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that. Tell me in the comments what else you think is surprisingly expensive in Mexico. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also visit my Patreon page where you can leave a donation and help support my work. 
and thank you as always to all my patrons. And if this is your first time here, why not click on one of my videos on the screen there to watch more and of course subscribe. So I'm Paul, this is True Mexico, hasta luego.